Hi everybody. It's spring with soaps and suds and such and today I am going to be making some little bees. Um, I make a soap and I like to incorporate little bees um, in that soap so I'm making some little bees hopefully it's getting that good and you can see my little bee. Now this is soap. It's made out of soap and what you're going to need to make your own little bees is some soap. I've got um, actually let me grab a bar. Here's a bar. And this is actually a rebatch soap. Um, a cold process that I rebatched. Smells wonderful. But it's a very soft soap very soft easy to cut and handle so with that being said you're going to need in order to um, make these soap of course a knife or an etching tool uh, I have an etching tool somewhere I couldn't find it but a knife of any sort um, just sharp and then I have this knife. This knife is what I use to actually cut the soap in half or in pieces. And then uh, what I like to use is a razor blade. Now, if you, you know, if you're not really good with razor blades, I wouldn't suggest that because you can get cut. Believe me, I know. Um, and then you're going to need some paint brushes. And I like um, these right here. I've got uh, fine ones, if I can stay in the camera's view, fine ones and a little bit finer and uh, to the tiny tip. Okay, then you're going to need some um, mica, um, whatever color, or pigment, or activated charcoal, which I don't like to use activated charcoal for this. Now, if I'm making just a, if it's going on a natural, natural soap and I don't, Say I'm using um, yellow soap, you know, that where the bases come out to be like a beige yellow, not really yellow yellow, um, for the natural soap or a brown, then I might use activated charcoal to do with the painting because you're going to be painting this soap. Um, and then uh, you're just going to need the colors that you want to use. And you're going to need rubbing alcohol. I use 91%. I like it better. Something to put it, put your mix in. And uh, your, I'll show you how to do that when we get to it. But um, I already have, I have another bee here that's cut out. This is his body, his head, and his wing. And then the other wing would be supposed to be back there. So... Now, um, to make this easier on yourself, now me, a lot of times I will just freehand it. And um, the way I do that is just, you know, find my piece of soap, take something, you could take like your razor blade, etching knife, and just make your shape of whatever you are cutting. And uh, without going all the way through, then you're going to go all the way through to cut it out. Now, if I were carving soap, I would want a harder bar. Say I were making a frog or, you know, something that's got some height width, I would want a harder bar. Because these, you know, it's being this soft, it's very easy to uh, take off too much or it break. Um, such as that. Now, the easiest way, if you're not, um, let's see, how do I put that? If you're not real artsy, or you don't like to draw, or you, you know, you don't have the patience for it. Uh, if you don't, because drawing on this is a little bit different than drawing on paper, but just kind of sketch you out something like that. That's what I used to make. Whoops, this is that and all I, I you know all I did is just go around there with a pencil and then make that's your head make your wings and then your body and tail of course okay now basically what we're going to be doing 
or what I'm going to show you how to do is tracing. That's the basic thing. And uh, you just want to, you know, I want to put it on here like so. And then I'm going to take my razor blade and I'm going to start just cutting it out. But now I'm using thick soap where I'm making um, most butterflies I would use thinner soap. But since I'm making a bumblebee, I want it to be thicker. And don't worry about the little, you know, details. You can clean up your cut after you actually get it completely cutted or cut. No such thing as cutted. Um, but just like so, just kind of rough it at first and then go back and um, do cleanup. Grouts can be made uh, soap balls from them. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this right here like so. That will make this a whole lot simpler for me. But I don't want to split that, so I'm going to come right here like so holding my piece of paper and then I'm going to cut that okay just kind of remove this which can be used for something else because that's a nice big chunk okay now we can get to cutting but just kind of cut it out watching the fingers because if you're using a razor blade or a sharp knife which works best for this is a sharp, either a sharp knife or a razor blade. Like I said, etching knives, you know, you can use those also. Work really good for carving. I love, you know, making stuff like this to go on my soaps. You know, you can buy molds and probably buy bumblebee molds. But the thing is, is if I use a mold, I didn't hand craft, you know, I, I poured it in the mold, might have, you know, if I cold processed the soap and poured it in the mold, but this way, by doing it this way, I am actually hand crafting it, my bees. Just like my butterflies. And I did make a video on that, if you missed it. Um, I've got a video on it, so check it out. And you know, you can use a harder bar if you want to. It's just going to be a little bit, you know, harder to cut. Okay, that looks pretty good. I have to clean up that corner but you see we basically got the shape there so we remove that okay and it's gonna look a little scary at first see there and this is like you know the shape and all but um, I'm going to clean it up just a bit Okay, I've got that cut. Now, what you, one thing that can make it easier, well, let me clean this up just a hair, just a touch. I just like to go around the edges and get the shape that I want. You might not have got the shape that you want, you know, from that first cut, so. Just tidy it up like so. Clean off my blade there. Okay, let's see. 
check out the other side and make sure that's the way I want it. Okay, now we've got it cut. So now we need to make our like shape for our wings just to give us an idea. So I'm just going to take just the very point. Okay, now this is the head. So I just go right along there like that right there. Just giving myself just just a little bit of something to, you know, go by. And then you've got your body, which comes right around like so. And on this side, like so. Okay. And then we've got our wings. And I'm just getting an idea here of where I want to put my wings. Okay. Now you can do your, you know, your bumblebee lines on here if you want to. Um, I usually just paint it, just kind of get an idea. So we've got that. Now, let's see. I don't know if we can fit one of him. I hate to waste soap. So let's see what we can do here. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to cut it. Start right here. And work my way out to the edge. Then I'm going to start right here. Cut that off right there, like so. And remove that. Put that over here in this pile. Because you want to be careful when you're dealing with like right here where this gets little. jump to painting and you can do you know all shapes of bees all kinds of bees you're just going to have to have um, you know if you if you're not good at carving or um, drawing then find you a stencil somewhere or a template or you know get someone that you know that can draw a bee to draw you a bee and then you just simply trace it out but with that being said, I'm going to move some stuff and I'll bring you back to paint. <laughs> 